This is Bill Brady, One United Body, talking today on the topic, preparing to become a facilitator of encounter groups. Encounter groups are a very key part of our journey into heavenly realms. I see that we have personal encounters and we have corporate encounters as part of an encounter group. Uh, the corporate encounters help us to have personal encounters and the personal encounters uh, fuel our corporate encounters. So there's, there's a working together of the two. Encounter, encountering is something beyond just having intellectual understanding. It's coming to actually have a spiritual experience. And so I see encountering as being very, very important as part of our journey up into heavenly realms. And coming to a place of being part of an encounter group is part of our process of, of uh, coming to learn how to reveal mysteries, how to bring a mystery out of darkness into light where we actually are able to see truth and have revelation of truth. The light bulb goes off spiritually. Uh, it's a wonderful experience. Another way of explaining it is uh, first day, we uh, bring things out of the darkness of night into the light of day. Uh, another way to say it is cave of mysteries. I remember uh, climbing a mountain in an encounter coming to the top of the mountain, well, partly up the mountain to where there was a man, turned out to be Daniel, entering into this cave and initially being afraid because of the darkness in there. I only at that time was thinking of darkness as being evil. But then I learned the name of this place is called the Cave of Mysteries. And it was uh, teaching me how to actually see darkness as being truth hidden in mystery, not evil, but truth hidden in mystery and bringing truth into light where it's no longer hidden, where it's actually revelation. So encounter groups are something that's very, very important. You come to your first encounter group and everybody's uh, seeing things and sensing things and you, you begin to see and sense and you realize that what you're seeing and sensing is just as valid as what they are and that you do know how to function in this and that you're part of this group. There's a journey into becoming a facilitator of an encounter group. I see in Heavenly Realms, many, many people come to receive and there's transition places. One of the transition places is becoming a giver into the new wineskin. Another transition place is becoming a worker in the new wineskin. So many people do, uh, let's just put it this way. Um, it's important that we transition into becoming a giver and a worker. And in facilitating an encounter group is one of the places you can become a worker. Especially uh, important to have encounter groups functioning at various times on various days so that people around the world that have different schedules are able to be a part of an encounter group. You do not have to be an expert to facilitate an encounter group. How do you prepare to facilitate? Well, the best way to prepare to facilitate is to be part of an encounter group and not just go to receive revelation, to learn how to receive revelation, how to function in revealing mysteries, but also begin to observe the person or persons that are facilitating and see how they do it. Jesus called the 12 to be with him and to send them out. They began by being with him, which was for intimacy, but it was also for observation of what he was doing and how he was doing it. So one of the first things to do while you're preparing to become a facilitator of an encounter group is to participate in the encounter group, but become an active observer and see how it's done make mental notes of when I'm facilitating, I'm going to do it this way, or when I'm facilitating, I'm not going to do it this way because we learn just as well from observing somebody, not, somebody doing it not completely perfectly as we do facilitating somebody doing it with great skill. We all learn from making mistakes. I've got a whole long list of things I've decided I'm never gonna do again, and so, so do you. That's how you learn. Um, <laughs> if you're afraid of, of making mistakes, you'll never start. Uh, that's one of the big lessons. Uh, the, the doers are the ones that have decided that they're going to risk making mistakes. 
and they're not going to let it stop them. They're going to learn from their mistakes about how to do it better. David learned how to be a king by watching King Saul, and King Saul was the absolute worst example. But David learned a whole long list of things of not things to not do while I'm king. Like, note to self, I will not fill in the blank when I'm king. Um, that's how David learned to be king, was watching King Saul, who did some things right, but he did a lot of things wrong. And David learned how to be king by watching King Saul do it wrong. So uh, one of the best ways to prepare to become a facilitator of encounter groups is to join an encounter group and become an active observer of how it's done. You'll learn by watching. The 12 watched Jesus do what he was doing, and then he sent them out to do some of what they'd watch him do. Then they came back and reported how wonderful the experience was and they dialogued with Jesus about what they'd done. It was like a debriefing afterwards. I'm sure there was a discussion about, here's what I did and I won't do that again. Or what do you think, Jesus, about, I did it this way, what do you think? There was a dialogue back and forth between the, uh, the master, means teacher, right? Master, King James teacher. Um, the one who had experience doing it and the one that was first learning how to do it. Another thing uh, that we do as part of our preparation for becoming a facilitator of encounter groups is learn, learn the Zoom system, because we use Zoom. Zoom is very, very effective. It was initially developed as a way for doctors to be able to talk to patients that were not geographically able to come into their office. Uh, I'm on Zoom right now. It's a wonderful system. It's not hard to, to learn how to use Zoom. Uh, I had to, uh, I got a brief introduction by someone that showed me how to do Zoom. Actually, it was Simone Jones. I honor her for uh, starting me out on that. And uh, however, uh, you can uh, learn too. You don't need Simone to show you or me to show you. It's uh, very simple. You simply go to the Zoom. Uh, I'm trying to find my, my uh, Zoom here. Page, here we go. Okay, so I can show you and share the page with you. Where we got it here. Okay, so I'm in my Zoom. You each have a Zoom free account, or you wouldn't be able to be uh, coming on the counters with us. But uh, one of the things about Zoom is there is a section called uh, live training, but there's also a section that has Zoom video tutorials of two, three minutes each. Um, and you just look at the tutorials, and I'm trying to find them here, and I'm not finding them right at the moment, but uh, here's training. Ah, and Zoom video tutorials. And there's these little two, three minute uh, tutorials of how to do this, how to do that. Here's the various things, getting started, audio, video sharing meetings and webinars, uh, admin, uh, and so on, a whole long list of things. You just look at these, look through these, and you can learn how to do. Uh, here's an example of a, a training session, how to join a meeting, how to schedule a meeting with a Zoom website, the meeting controls, the ones that I use while I'm hosting a meeting. Um, they're all right in here, and uh, Zoom gives these very brief and excellent little tutorials, uh, short ones, showing you how to make the Zoom system work, if you get to where you want more than that, they actually have live training sessions, as long as you're actually paying them for the basic, um, I think it's called uh, Pro right now, I think they're changing the name for that, um, it's a certain number of dollars per month. Uh, if you actually want to do a live session with one of the Zoom trainers, you can do that where you can ask the questions and answers. They have a set sessions for some of the basic things that you need to learn or might want to learn. Uh, and so it's an excellent uh, system for, for um, learning, uh, learning Zoom. Zoom is not hard to learn. It's just a matter of deciding you want to do that. So summarizing what I'm saying here, there's some uh, actual facilitation skills that you can begin to learn by observing somebody who's facilitating. And there's technical skills, skills having to do with the Zoom system that you can learn by signing up with Zoom. Uh, it does involve uh, paying out a monthly uh, 
fee for that. And then once you're in there, there are free tutorials that will show you how to make Zoom work. I found that the best way after you've done some training is to find a buddy and uh, just take turns working the controls while the other person is, is, uh, is actually doing the, uh, the part of being the meeting and you're doing the part of being the facilitator. So you, you just trade back and forth. You, you try it now and the other person try it now and so on so that uh, you get some practice on how to use the Zoom controls uh, facilitating. You do that by pairing up with someone else that wants also, also wants to learn. You take turns uh, you actually doing the functions of the Zoom controls. Okay, so how to prepare yourself to be a facilitator of encounters. Uh, prepare yourself by starting to observe someone else doing the actual facilitation. That way you learn the facilitation skills and then actually uh, get yourself a Zoom account and uh, do the video tutorials to learn how to use the Zoom account, then practice with a partner how to use those Zoom. And then you may simply want to uh, begin uh, with some folks. You can have a, a group encounter with two people. The two of you that are practicing your Zoom skills can practice having an encounter until you're ready to actually start inviting people to come join your, your encounter group. Uh, you do not need to be an expert. You simply need to be available and willing to be the one that actually calls everybody else to come join you. Somebody has to do the uh, advertising and the, and the leading and uh, then you grow up together. As a group, you, you journey together into revelation and how to function in that revelation. Uh, it's a wonderful process, very, very exciting, uh, but it does require at some point simply taking the leap of faith and making a start. If you're interested in more um, information, if you're looking for more articles, go to my Zoom, go to my uh, Patreon rather. Uh, there are free articles on there. Also, there are different levels of Patreon, five, $10 a month. $10 a month gets you access to everything. Uh, $15 a month gets you access to everything plus a once a month meeting for those that have answered the call or in interested in looking into the call as an apostle. Closing this out.